What you saw today at our forecast breakfast was a, an excellent turnout. We had over 300 uh, people attend. It looks very positive. I mean, all the fundamentals are still in place that we've really seen at play for the last few years. And that includes in incredibly low interest rates, uh, strong immigration, a lack of, a real lack of rental. Home prices are uh, pretty bang on. The rural was the one that brought us down, but pretty close at, at six. We really, it was a year of exceeding expectations. Still have affordability left in our market, despite our prices going up the last four, uh, few years, number of years, we're still one of the most affordable housing markets in the country. And what I add it today, we're now the, definitely in the most affordable major league city in the country now that we have the NHL back, which has really got people excited. And we're starting to work with larger clients that are starting to be more active in, in Canada and, and the world in terms of real estate. U.S. retailers are going to continue to look at our market. Their market is saturated, and uh, they look at the Winnipeg market as something of an opportunity. You're already seeing it right now with the, uh, a lot of U.S. Uh, food service companies, certainly Target coming into to, to Canada in 2013. We know that the interest rates from Benjamin is going to, is, will be staying the same, and that's great news for Winnipeg. Everything looks great in Canada. The unemployment rate is low, employment is rising, everybody's happy. And I say, let's be careful here. So we have the luxury of time because we don't have this kind of huge increase interest rates that led to the crash in the U.S. and of course in 1991 in Canada. So we don't have the first precondition. The other precondition of course is a subprime type situation and if you look at the number of uh, uh, people with uh, a lot of uh, debt in this country, namely debt service ratio of more than 40 percent and less than 20 percent equity on the house, this number represents roughly 4.5 percent of households compared to 22% in the U.S. So what do you do when you don't know what to do? You don't take chances. We have to make sure over the next year or two to resist the temptation of extremely low interest rates. We need to see the housing market softening, leveling off, stagnating if you wish. Maybe prices will go down a little bit and that will be a good story as far as the housing market is concerned because if we continue to behave the way we are behaving now, if we see uh, borrowing rising by another 10%, if we see prices rising by another 10% over the next 24 months, then we will be much closer to this unavoidable increase in interest rates and I will be much more concerned. You know, all in all, I, um, we're really saying that in 2012, we think we can repeat what we did in 2011, which was our second highest sales and almost best ever at 13,000. People still need homes, and as Winnipeg Realtors, we're there to help.